Writing is such a highly valued thing. People are always reading stuff, people's writings, and the writing space is getting soon to get very saturated within the next few years. So how do you stand out out of millions of writers and grow a reading community? Let's talk about it. I just ate tacos for lunch today. It was so banging good. It was the bomb.com. writers and welcome back to my channel where I teach you to embrace your old being and evoke writing and hit that subscribe button so that you get two videos a week from me. Wait. My first step is don't be a copycat. It's okay to use other writers and other writers voices that you really love on books, blogs, public affairs, editorials and use that as inspiration and this is a great way to really see what kind of writer you are and to dig into new territory but don't directly copy them because you aren't that person and you may not be passionate about it and it, it just never works so you really need to not just it doesn't it writing and just putting stuff out there is not really what is is not going to help you anymore you need to really take time in thinking creatively you need to really figure out what your writing type is and, and how you can serve that by reading writings and reading blogs and reading types of writings that suit what you're trying to put out there. And once you've developed that and you you're think more creatively, then you can start writing a little bit more and kind of practice all of that research you've done and reading other people's writings and kind of implementing what they've done and see if it works for you. Yeah, writing you always really need to plan stuff out and yes, creativity is a muscle. You can train it. You can go to the gym like how you get biceps so you can go to the creativity mind gym and train your brain to be more creative. So once you've figured out your value, you figured out your creativity, that's when you can really start thinking more creatively and figure out your your uniqueness. What can you bring to the writing space? What is something different that you bring you can bring that people haven't seen before and helps you stand out amongst many other writers because you have a voice that you can deepen and that you can strengthen and, and it can just blow every reader away. And second step is to emphasize your unique value by embracing who you are as a person. Very cliche, I know, but be yourself. Embrace who you are as a writer. Don't be afraid of who you are. Flesh it out and flesh out your personality through it. And your value is something that no other writer has. And yes, there's a lot of excuses where people say, oh, so many writers have done that before, but you can still bring something different to that. If you, ha you truly believe you have a value that is still highly done, but you feel like you can bring something even bigger, try that, do it, write about it but also just be yourself, write about what you're passionate about and just flesh that out. And I'm not saying to oversaturate a writing type that's already big enough and done before because that's just really hard, but you need to really find your unique value and it's something that sets you apart from every other writer. What is something you're passionate about? What is your purpose? What is that heartbeat that really signals your writing really defines your writing and once you figure that out you're gonna have more of a better niche and you're gonna find out what sets you apart from every other writer because you have that value and you're being yourself no one can be you no one can be you you are your own person you just have to flesh that out and i did make a video about Let me know if embracing the haters was really hard.